It's the south side, can you see? It's the Kiki coming down, blowing tree. Got a whole bag of the smoke. And you know I'm rolling with the stone, yeah, that poke. Got to give a shot out to my true G's. And a nigga like me thinking about keys. Maybe OZs. Got to have my overs. And a nigga like me, yeah, head and shoulders. I'm just a player from head to toe. Gotta let these haters out there straight know that they keep it. It's Lil WB at Slab OGs TV. Back at it again, another interview. Today, I'm up in Sunnyside, you know what I'm saying, with a legend. A lot of uh, people that I interviewed from the south side and pretty much mentioned his name. Uh, there's even people on the north side that mentioned his name to me, you know what I'm saying? This a uh, real OG in the game, you know, from the south side. So without further ado, introduce yourself to the people. Uh, what's going on, world? Uh, my name is Derek Hines. Um, I used to call me D Hines, but you know I don't go by that name no more, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know I didn't change my life, yo. so you know, but yeah. this. Where I grew up at over here. Okay, okay, man. Can you kind of, uh, you know, just explain for the viewers what it's like, what it was like growing up in Sunnyside back in the day? You know, the seventies, eighties, nineties. Man, so a youngster. As a youngster, man, son, it was it was rough over here. You know, uh, man, bunch of violence. You know, uh, bunch of drug selling. You know, mm -hmm. man, you had to uh, you had to fight every day over here. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it won. It was, you know, like, you say like a lot of people had silver spoon in their mouth. I want one of the ones. Mm -hmm. But, you know, man, it was, growing up over here rough, it taught me a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Taught me a whole lot, you know, and then basically what it really taught me how to defend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's okay. basically what it's about. Okay. Can you, do you remember the first time you seen a slab in this particular, particular neighborhood or just in general? Well, in this neighborhood here, uh, my first slab I seen Verlin, uh, Guy named Bean, uh, Poopy. Uh, when you say Dean, you mean Jimmy Bing, Dean? Bean, from... Bean, Bean. His oh, name Bean. Bean. Yeah, okay. Bean. Call him Bean. Okay. Uh, Verlin, Bean, Poopy. Uh, yeah, Jimmy T. You know, them, them was the, the first ones I seen, like in Sunnyside. Uh, Derek Gillespie, brother Will. Mm -hmm. You know, I seen him. Them was probably the, the f first ones I seen. Then you had, like, Flop, but he ain't had, like, elbows, you know. But, you know, they call. Stop, stops uh, and voles, uh slabs too. So you know, that was okay. probably the few I seen that had so, over here. Before then, I always, I always talk to OGs, and they kind of say like, before the elbows came into play, you had uh, stop signs and voles, thirties and voles. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So was that kind of considered like, I guess, quote unquote, the slab? Well, that's what they said back in the day. I don't, I, I ain't never just really looked at it as a slab, but you know, they came before me. So, mm -hmm. you know, if they came before me and they said it's a slab, I'm all right with that. Yeah. You know. Okay, okay. Can you kind of name what cars they was riding in? Well, you know, you had a bunch of them like riding Regals, uh, uh, Regals, Seville's, uh, Impalas. It was basically the, the like the MCs, the mm -hmm. Regals, the MCs, the Grand Prix. Like their older cars, you didn't have too many people riding in Lex. Only one I seen riding in Lex was Will, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, I ain't see too many people riding Lex back then. It was more of the Regals and the MCs, the Monte Carlos and Grand Prix, something like that. So this is a question I like to always ask, cause like I know that the wheels they came on Eldorados, Toronados, some Jags, you know what I'm saying? But it seemed like during that early stages, nobody had those cars. They was always going towards Regals, Cutlasses, you know, Sammy Sevens, uh, you know, the Regals and the Cutlass. Why was that kind of like the ones that they was going to? I guess, I guess because, I mean, I really truly think they was probably doing it because of the Hollywoods. Mm. Because they can get the Ricks in the car. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cadillacs, you couldn't put the Ricks or the Hollywoods in them. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, most of like, they, they weren't riding like Cadillacs back then. Like I said, it was like MCs, Regals, and then, so that's why they probably didn't put the, like, the little, uh, the antennas on the side with the mm -hmm. safeguard, you know, the spinners on there. So that's what they basically start going with. Mm -hmm. Explain for me, because like I say, I'm young, I'm 28. Yeah, so yeah. what's a safeguard? Safeguard is like it's a norm safeguard on the side alarm, of the yeah. car. It's like, it's like, uh, uh, man, say like you used to have them the games in the, in the, in the game room, mm -hmm. how they put the key in there and they open the thing and take the, uh, uh, like say for you lost a quarter or something. Mm -hmm. And it's, oh man, I lost my quarter. They put the key in there. And open it, that's where the safeguard was. Okay. So you had to come in like you could turn off. Now you had to come literally come outside and yeah. turn the alarm off. 
Was it like, an, like a big horn? Because I seen a picture of one. Yeah, the horn was in the inside of it. The horn was like oh, in the okay. inside, like when you raised the hood up. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But it was loud. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you hear it from some blocks. Mm -hmm. So when was the first set of wheels that you got? My first uh, uh, set of wheels was some, I want to say 80 folds, 80, yeah, 80 folds, 80 degrees on what the Regal. You, what year was this? Uh, my, man, my first lab, probably around 89, 90. Mm -hmm. Around my, going into my sophomore year mm -hmm. in high school. What, what was it on? Regal. A Regal? Yeah. Did it have Hollywood tops? Or? Well, no, I had a uh, rag, uh, what it was, he, what's that, what color that rag? It was like a clean rag. But I had blue ricks, a uh, mm -hmm. bunch of six by nines, and I think it was six fifteens or four fifteens in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, what I was about to say was, I know you riding in this car. You you just said you was so, you was a sophomore. Yeah. Did everybody kind of already know like this is what this car is? It's a slab. Or was yeah. It like, cause I always hear OGs. They always say when they talk to me, they always say low rider, low rider, low rider. Why well, do they always say that? I don't know. I mean, because of probably because you had some of them had the cars dropped. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them had them dropped. You know, they it wasn't a such thing as the bags and the switches then. You know, we want they weren't riding on them back then. They'll probably you know get the springs melted down and get it dropped a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's why they probably call it low riders. But when we when we was in school and in, in our generation, we was calling it slab. Mm -hmm. So would you say? Your generation was like the first or the second era of the slab. Uh, I say my generation was like the second. Okay. Yeah, second. Okay, okay. So this is this when kind of like candy paint started to come in, interior started to come in, when people starting to, was starting to do it. Yeah, like when my, okay, well, you know, like in my generation, like when I was going, the candy paint really and uh, the inside and started coming in to probably around about, uh, I want to say around about 91, 92, because I'm, Toast was the first one I seen do it. Candy? Candy. Toast was the first one I seen candy. Like, how did y'all know, like, the difference between, like, regular paint job, regular red, and Toast car coming through? You gonna, because it gonna, it look more glossy, more, you know, like, say, for instance, you just go get you one of them blow pipes or something. And you can tell the difference because the candy going to shine more. And then when the sun hit it, it going to hit different mm -hmm. than in a regular paint. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Was his car, because I be trying to figure out, like, who was, like, the first. Was his car, like, the first complete car? When I say complete, I mean candy, interior, bumper kit, belts, like, everything. Matter of fact, yeah, I say so. I mm -hmm. say he was the first one, because he had the, he, I seen him with the uh, Seville, with the filth. And uh, with the white insides, and think he had a white top. Mm -hmm. I don't. But the, the MC had white top with white insides. Both of them were the same color. But I seen the feel first on the Seville. Mm. Cause like when we first come out, we won riding fields. Yeah. One ride fields came a little while long, a little while early. Mm -hmm. Cause I know my first two slabs, I had the uh, the Regal first, then I had a park. Mm -hmm. We won riding fields, but after that park, everything started. You know, probably give it probably down to my third slab. After that, that's when everybody started doing the fields. I like to think about like timeline. So what uh, year is this? I want to give at least took place. I, I want to say like uh, ninety three. Ninety three. Ninety three. In a ninety two, going into ninety three. Well, a lot of people tell me is that when fifth started to come into play, a lot of people ain't like them at first. I really do. I really Why don't. not though? Cause, Cause that's cause, like a must now. Yeah, it's a must now. Back then it was totally different then. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It was totally different now. Now it's gonna be a must because the fifth gonna really the fifth really give it life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially like if you pop in the trunk, the fifth come down. You know, but back then, because our culture was basically on elbows, insides, candy paint. But then like when I first my first fifth on my car was on the trunk. It wasn't on the bumper. Mm -hmm. And that was on my Seville. Mm -hmm. Slam back. Your slam back. Okay, okay, okay. So when was the first time you went candy? Oh, uh, Fleetwood. My Fleetwood that that okay. came off to the uh, get okay. I had the park, jump out the park. Uh, I jumped, I jumped out the park, and I jumped in the gold bins. I had a gold bin. After I jumped out the gold bins, then that's when the Fleetwood came. 
And that was the first car that got the gold. You say gold bins, was it candy gold? Oh, uh, it was just like a, no, it wasn't candy gold, it was a gold. Okay. I didn't put the candy gold on What made one. you kind of go gold? Because I mean, when we always hear about the south side, like I said, I'm from the north side. When we always hear about the south side, we always hear candy red. Well, you know, sunny side is gold, green and gold. So that was our elementary colors as well. I mean, then we used to call this the Valley of the Sun because it was sunny side. And you so, said green and gold? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah you know, went from elementary, then I go to word and word and it was green and gold. Mm -hmm. So what made me just really want to go with that color, I wanted to go with something that matched my neighborhood. Like Sunnyside, Yellowstone, you know, South, yeah. that area. I wanted to do something totally different because everybody had red. Everybody had blue. So I said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something different. So that's when I went to Ike, grabbed a paint book. I'm looking through it. Cause I'm saying I ain't had blue, I ain't had uh, uh, uh what what color my uh, my first drop. I, I left that one out. It was like a uh, champagne color. Mm -hmm. So I say, no, nah, I want to go something that's gonna be like totally different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Something that'll stand out. You know that people are like, man, wow, he went this color. You know, so that's why I done it. Cause everybody had blue, everybody had red. So I say, you know, I just want to go a different color. So that what made me go that color. You know, to line up with the neighborhood. So I did an interview with uh, the Gold Line from the North Side, mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of like I, I would say like that everybody know nowadays Gold, you know that Gold Line back then was you the first Gold car to come out on the streets. Yes. Okay. Can you say what kind of Gold? Because I know you got Trophy Gold, you got Mustard Gold. <laughs> Boy, I really don't want to give up that color, man. But it's Candy Lemon. Candy Lemon. Okay. So it was more like yellowish kind of. Yeah, candy lemon, more like more like uh uh like a butterscotch color, mm -hmm. like a butterscotch scotch okay. color. Okay. Yeah. What was the street saying when you pulled out? Being from the south side, every ride, everybody riding candy red, and you pull out candy gold. I mean, you know, I don't know what they were saying. You know, everybody had their opinion. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody had their opinion, but I I would just want to do something different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like. Everybody got their color. You know, that's the color that I wanted to rock with right now. Mm -hmm. I know the soft ride red. You know, you got parts that ride blue. I just wanted to be some diff just wanted to do something totally different because I didn't want to do what everybody else was doing. And then, you know, uh, everybody riding, you know, everybody riding that color. I want my car to stand out different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, it was like, hey, man, look at here. If, if I do come out, I got to be hard. Mm -hmm. You know, because it was a challenge. You had competition. So you're going to want to set a high standard. So that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What were some of the spots that you was hitting that everybody was kind of hitting that you knew if you was to go to this club, this bar, uh, this side of town, you knew hey, it was going to be jumping on this side with it coming to slab. And that's crazy. I knew it was going to be jumping because I was, I was always the type I really didn't like club. You know what I used to like to do? Just go sit in the parking lot. You know, they used to call it parking lot pimping back then. I didn't want no pimp, but you know that's what they do. But yeah, I I, I used to like uh when for on this side we started like with the midnight out, mm -hmm. and then it came the uh sex uh Soka Village that uh 808 got changed to Affinity. Then uh other spot was Cairo. That was one of the main spots mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Jamaica uh what was the other? And you had the Benz, and they had another one that was too, one too far from uh, Cairo. I can't remember the name of that one. Mm -hmm. But then I tell you, another nice to go to too uh, on the on the north side of Park. I forgot the name of that club. Gucci's. Yeah, I heard that was a treacherous uh, club to go to. Yeah, I mean, really, really. Like, I mean, man, they say it, it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. It was. It's it, it just like who you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you you had too many. You had a lot of people from over here. You had quite a few, but majority of them went right out, out there. You know what I'm saying? But I had a lot of, you know, like I told you, I had a whole lot of homeboys from out there that I knew, you know, so, but you know, but, hey, man, if you riding that slab, you want to get out. You just can't sit in one neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You're going to move around. Yeah. Okay, okay. Speaking on that, I mean, going to these different sides of town, these different neighborhoods, different clubs, was it kind of like a, like a carjacking, uh, Scene that you kind of knew if you ride it in this nice car, like somebody gonna try to take you up off of it. Well, it depends. It, it depends, cause you know back then, like if your name carries, they know not to try you. Then you go have some people try you, but at the same time, you you really want putting yourself in that predicament. You know, like if I if I were going that way, I'm always map my map my how to escape. Mm 
you know, some go break out. I'm gonna know how which way how to get up out of there. But then I just to never go in the club, like I said. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ride through. You know, I probably go on a foot in when there ain't nobody or uh, three partners from out there meet me up there or whatnot. But yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't just never too much by myself out mm -hmm. that way. Okay, okay. Did you have like a gold line at that time? No, nah, that's the only. I ain't have a gold line. I ain't mm -hmm. have a gold just line. Riding gold solo. Just riding gold solo. Okay. Yeah, okay. Want to, Cause there weren't too many people riding gold. I can't. I I, I probably can't say. Uh, 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 I had too many people on the south riding it, but you know, I had, I, I seen after a while after I had mine, the next gold person I seen stupid Tim, Yeah. you know, he's come out here and I used to bump into him, but we never just rolled together, you know. But yeah. wasn't Yellowstone, I know I just drove over here. I know Yellowstone not too far. Yeah. Didn't Yellowstone no, ride gold? No, nah, right back then I brought the gold over there. Okay. Yeah, I brought that color over there. So that was later? Yo, later after after I done moved on out the way and went and started doing something else. Okay, okay. So paint a picture for me, you know what I'm saying? Just me uh -huh. being younger. You pulling up in Carrolls, you pulling up in Jamaica, Jamaica, Gucci's, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? The Palladium. Like what who and what cars do you see on your left and your right? Man, you're gonna see a whole lot of cars out mm -hmm. there, man. You're gonna see cars from from uh Mo City, you're gonna see cars from the Clark, uh man, you're gonna see cars from this side of town. You're gonna see a whole bunch of cars. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that's where everybody was going to show off. Then especially if you got music, that's where you're going. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean you want too many back then, you know, you're gonna have a lot of people going in the club, but then like I said, you're gonna have a lot of people hanging out in that parking lot because they know if they go in that club, you're lying to come back out there, you mm -hmm. took off the slab. Yeah. So you you ain't gonna have too many like you, I don't know how they do it now. But I know back then on only club that I was feeling safe going in with Jamaica, Jamaica, and Cairo. You know what I'm saying? Because I had friends up there then, like the security guard, like, I'm going to get in the front. Mm -hmm. And then I was cool with the guy at Jamaica, Jamaica, too. So that's the only part, the only clubs I'm going to go in. Mm -hmm. But for me going to other clubs, oh, no, I'm not getting out of going in that. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't ever ask this in my interviews, but uh, you're going to be one of the first people I ask. Just being in the parking lot, parking lot pimping, as they say, what was your favorite song to play? Well, back then, man, I was I was more like like <laughs> for real. Say, that's a good say. Whoa, I was more like man, uh, more like with that old with that old and older music like that uh uh Grandmaster Flash, mm -hmm. that uh that Houdini, mm -hmm. uh 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 what's Ever, that Everlasting Bass, yeah by, uh, yeah like that the Joe MC Cooley. Light, yeah. uh, uh what's that other uh, uh what's the Stessa Sonic? I think mm -hmm. yeah them. And uh, uh, I think Kumo D had a, a one song, uh, Turn It Up. Mm -hmm. I used to like that there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Was the music, like having the music in your car, was that a big part of the slab during this time? Because yeah. it seemed like yeah. you, you, you had to have music if, if that you ain't have just, if a lot of people ain't just have too much candy paint, a lot of people ain't had no feels, a lot of people ain't have no insides done. It seemed like the music was like yeah. your music. Yeah. Your yeah. truck was thumping. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Gonna, that was the one. That's, that's what it was. You gonna have you gonna man. You, it was some great competition out there. You gonna have the music out there. I just like oh, uh, see like back then, like in my area, I got a chance to really see two areas. See when I come up, we was Darrell Scott, and then after Darrell Scott, that's when Screw came along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, everybody in my area was jamming Darrell Scott, yeah. and man, he was the truth. Then screw came came after that and, and carried it on. What? Okay, so I, that's a question I want to ask too. When the slow down music came to the South Side, uh -huh. how did y'all kind of mesh that in with the slab? Man, you know what? It went right along with the slab for the simple fact. It might sound crazy, but when you put a screw tape in the slab, that mug is gonna jam. It gonna beat. Mm -hmm. Cause it slowed down, then you gonna hear like every word. Mm -hmm. So it, it, by that time it came right in with it, cause then you had everybody out there drinking syrup too. Mm -hmm. So it when it came, it, it really it really took slab to another level. Yeah. Did you ever uh, go to screw go to screw house and go get a screw tape? Mm, no, not really. I knew him personally, but I never just go went to his house. I had a lot of people that you know uh, used to go over there and get them, cause. Getting a tape from screw is like you trying to get a new pair of joints on, on uh, say you go to, uh, uh, what's this, uh, Paul right here on Cullen, and them joints come out. That's just like you trying to, you're going to have to wait a long time to you can get a tape. Mm -hmm. So you had to know somebody, know somebody, know somebody. You know, like I was cool with Rhino, I was cool with Randy, and then I had a little partner named Boutte, like my little brother. You know, he used to get them all. Mm -hmm. So okay. that's how I was getting them.
Okay, okay. And I know you mentioned Ike a minute ago. Uh huh. Was a lot of people going to Ike during this time? Man, you had a whole lot of people. You had a whole lot of people going to Ike, man. It's amazing, man, because I know in my era, we was going, Blunt was there going to Ike. I was going to Ike. Uh, I don't, I can't say Conberry, but I know it was me, Blunt, uh, uh, Courtney out I, th mm -hmm. I think they was going to Ike too. Mm -hmm. You know, you had a few, you had a majority of us going to Ike, mm -hmm. but everybody wasn't going because everybody had their own paint shops. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's okay. that was the first my paint on the guy I ever painted out my car was like was he high back then because i know he high right now no nah, really what you know you got to know him mm -hmm. you know I, I i uh got cool with ike through verlin and so when i got cool with i got cool with his old man so he was like he was all right man if he know he was all right but then after a while man when everybody started going yeah he started getting high because yeah. after he moved off peerless and moved off hasbury oh yeah yeah he got high then yeah okay okay can you kind of speak on like the eras like the different eras i know at one point in time it was like tight white then it was like gray then it was peanut butter you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. why people don't really go to the tight white because to me i feel like the tight white kind of like the the best interior you can Real go quick, on man after the episode of slab og tv i got a volize.biz man it's a shoe company based out of houston 100 percent made out of italy Hey man, y'all see it right here, man. Comfortable, easy to walk on, you know what I'm saying? They stylish slab Sundays. That's what I'm riding in, man. Free shipping, money back guarantee. So after the episode, y'all go to volaz.biz, man. And man, y'all come down stylish, man. It's sponsoring Slab OG's TV. So you know y'all if I'm rocking with them, you gotta rock with them, you know what I'm saying? So back to the well, it's it's like, man, it's like shoes. You know, like one while you have this style everybody want mm -hmm. you have then next style you know that they, they want that style they want that style so when we when we first started out it was when i first started out it was it was ricks and just you know like it wasn't leather it was like the, the other kind of material like the pleather whatever that is the mm -hmm. other then after a while uh people just start going to white you know that because that's my matter of fact my beans i had white insides in it and then my drop that i had on switches i had white inside it was just Cause it went it with the color, mm -hmm. and then after that everybody just started switching up. You just said switches. Yeah. I know. I talked to Top Dog a minute, like uh, like yesterday or something. He was talking about everybody kind of like it was like a specific time when everybody kind of went to switches. Nowadays it's bags. Yeah. Who was the first one you seen on switches? Uh, first one I seen on switches, Skeeter. Right down here by Addicts. And uh 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 what's Toast brother name? Quincy. Yeah. Quincy. Okay. And I think Blunt had a call on switches. But I ain't that, see his uh, Impala. Yeah, but I ain't see him I ain't see his first. I seen Skeeter and uh Quincy. I think it was sixty five, yeah. Yeah, 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 Quincy and Skeeter. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Why you think that that ain't really just hit like that? Cause I mean at this time, you had a lot of West Coast music coming out, and everybody around low riders over there on, in California and stuff uh -huh. like that. Why it didn't really just hit like that to where a lot of people had switches on their cars? Perfectly be honest, man. Uh, switches was a, a work, man. Switches, man. Let me tell you something. There was you coming down, you looking good, you getting on three, you jumping and everything. But let me tell you something. Switches would embarrass you because they mess up. They mess, man. I was coming down Scott one day. And we, we ride down Sky Seas, a little, little female, and I'm clowning, jumped up. I, the spring went one way, and the car went the other way. I'm like, God, and that what made me really, really want to just come off of it. Because mm -hmm. the, the guy put them on, I don't, I don't know if he supposed to mount them down or not. But, man, switches, they fun, but they embarrassing. Mm -hmm. yeah, what about bro. marble? Did a lot of people ride marble back then? Because I hear about a lot of OGs. Well, I never did. Yeah. I never did. I never. I, I, I won two, three with it. But what, wasn't it like a thing back then? Yeah, you know, you had certain certain people had it, certain people, because the first one I seen with it was Country. Mm -hmm. You know, I seen Country with it a few more people, but I wasn't, I wasn't the more of a guy. I was always candy. I like mm -hmm. the candy. I ain't like all that. Because yeah. some of the, the more of it, like, it take the candy out of it. Mm -hmm. It looked more dry than, you know, look like more shiny. So I just I just didn't really just fool with the more. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's, that's something different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people don't really ride more, but I, I could think of, like, one or two cars that got marble right now. 
Yeah, but and I a lot ain't of people it. don't ride it like that. I ain't, it wasn't no thing though. It wasn't. I, I wasn't too free of it. Yeah. Too. Okay. Okay. What you feel like is the golden era of the slab and why? The golden area. Mm. Would you say like the '80s, the '90s, the 2000s, 2010s? I'm gonna say right the '90s. Now? Why you say that? Cause you had a you had way more competition. You had way more competition. You had way more. I'm, I'm gonna say the '90s. You had way more competition for everybody having car. Then it was way more dangerous. Then it won. It won. People just just you know like this generation here just crazy wild with it. You had people that was more respectable then. Mm -hmm. You know, man, you clean, dog. You know, blah blah. Oh, just trying to come on you and swing on you. We ain't had too much of that in the '90s. Cause back in the day, it was kind of like if you rode on slab. You came down, you was on slab, it was almost like you already knew, like, oh, yeah, that's a yeah, respected yeah. nigga in this neighborhood, that's a street nigga. Yeah, in yeah this your name, see, it, 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 you look at it, majority of, uh, of the guys that had them back then, you know them, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like you just know them just to say, well, I know that guy, but you know them personally, you know. Most of everybody rode over, we knew each other personally. We didn't go to school together, we probably, you know, uh, 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 Play basketball together, or uh, you know, cause we, we was big on playing uh, football. You know, hood against hood back then. You know, and everybody mostly went to school together. You know, and that's what it was, man. You know, it wasn't it wasn't as wild like now. You know what I'm saying? Back then, you know, you can got a few partners in South Park. You can go there. You know, few partners in South Lawn. Yeah, cause back when I came up, you know, I left here and went to South Lawn. You know, that's okay. where I moved over there, okay. and. If you didn't know nobody, you couldn't go in South Lawn. Yeah. That's just like jailhouse apartments. That's just like the dead end. Mm -hmm. You know, if you didn't know nobody, you couldn't go in there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so, that's, I mean, you survive that. Hey, man, that's a blessing. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because I always hear about them South Lawn, dead end, man. you know what I'm saying? Hey. And was it hey. people riding slab when you went over there in the South Lawn? Well, you know, to me, I feel I brought the slab to South Lawn. They was riding, I, well, I brought the elbows over there because they was riding, but they were most of the uh, majority of them was riding 30s, you know. And and, 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 and they was all about their money. They wasn't about no slab or none of that, you know, when I was come over there. Mm. And then after a while, when I brought that's when everybody, you know, after that started coming on with it. Yeah. Why do you feel like, uh, well, before, I, before I ask that question, yeah. I'm from the north side, so we got Byron Mac. That's like our slab OG. Uh -huh. did you, which car did you sell him first? I want to say I know it was a beer because it was one of them. I don't I don't know if it was the drop. I don't know if it was the uh, uh, park. I don't think or it was one. a drop. I think it was a park. Yeah, that's like what that. it probably was. Okay, okay, and it was gold, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. How many cars you think you had that was gold? I had uh, my first gold. I want. Um, I think I had probably about mm, one by six or seven because I had two of each. Mm -hmm. the only one I had three of was the, I had three Seville's. Okay, and I had all uh, three slant back severe. Yeah, I had three slant back severe. I had uh, no. uh, two parks. Uh, I had the uh, the Fleetwood. I had two Fleetwoods, and I had the Drop Delta Eight Eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, the Drop Delta Eight, Drop Delta Eighty Eight. That's like a big thing right now. Everybody trying to get uh, some Drop Delta. So oh you know man, I'm I, I love. I had two of. Them. Yeah, I had two of. Them. Were they on switches? No, nah, one of them was. Okay, okay. Yeah, the okay. first one that I got, I got from Homeboy or Original Cherry. Mm -hmm. I got that one from him, you know, mm -hmm. but I ain't putting no switches on that day because we weren't we want about the switches then. What made me go get the switches, my partner Andrew, he wanted some switches. And uh, and then I, by me seeing Quincy and Skeeter and uh, 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 Courtney, I was buying them with their switches. That made me want some. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Why you feel like a lot of people crown you as like the sunny side, you know, this whole side of town, like slab OG, slab king over here? You know, I I, I really won't say. I mean, you know, I, I hear I hear a lot of people talking about the slab king and all. I don't really too much uh, get caught up with that for the simple fact because I respect the ones who came before me. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So like over here, you had Vernon, you had like I say Jimmy T, you had Poopy. You had uh, Bean. So when 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 they step out, I just took the torch and ran with it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it wasn't too many people. Well, actually, it wasn't nobody on this side, this part right here, doing the slab but me. Mm -hmm. And then Sean came further on down the line. Then Eddie came on 
Now, you had quite a few probably came on down the line, but in this circle here, if you the pass back here in the 90s before this gym was built right here, it was outside. You're going to see some gold cocked up right there. Yeah. You're going to see three or four of some cocked up right there. Yeah. I mean, you know, I remember at one while, I had to really slow myself down because I had like four slabs sitting in the yard at one time. How many How many slabs you think you had it? Like, all together? All together. Man. Ooh. And like, I always o hear, Over 15. I always hear OGs and they always talk about like in the 90s, the 80s, the early 2000s, they had a bunch of slabs. Was it like you had a slab and it was like, all right, let me go find a next one. Got that one together, let me go find a next one. Like, it seemed like y'all was back to back with yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, it was like, it was like when you get like, like when I had mine and I got tired of it, you know, I, I wanted to do something like, say for instance, if I had the drop, you know, oh, I don't want to drop no more. I want to do something different. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So after I probably jump out the drop, I probably want to go for it. See, that's, that's, that's just the slab we call them. That ain't including the Suburbans I had, I had two of them. Mm -hmm. They ain't including the, the, the Benzes I had, I had two of them. Mm -hmm. I had one BMW, I had three Lexus. Mm -hmm. You know, so when you, it, it got to the area to where we kind of started getting away from the slab, we wanted to go for it in a little while. Mm -hmm. But you never took the slab out your mind. Was, okay, so like I always talk to my dad and he always tell me, like he changed his life around and all that. But he always say like back in the day it was like, Nobody went to college. A lot of people didn't graduate high school. So it was kind of like the slab was like the only thing that was going on, like almost in your life almost. Man, Is you that kind of true? It's, it's so true because it's like when you was coming up, everybody go, in goal, my goal was to go to the NFL. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, I was good in football. I played I play quarterback. Mm -hmm. And my mindset was to go to the NFL, go to college, finish school, go to college, Go to the NFL, get my mother up out the neighborhood. But an incident took place in my life to where to where uh I chose I chose the you know, the other game. Mm -hmm. You know, my one uh my brother got killed in South London. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we didn't have no funds to, you know, to take care of that. So I went to, you know, on the other end, I don't wanna speak like, you know, mm -hmm. and from there I took off. Yeah. Okay, okay. When was the last, what was the last slab you put together and what year was it? Uh, I want to say 2009, Candy Red Fleetwood. Candy Red? Yeah. Then you put a Candy Red Fleetwood together, like before that? No, before that, I put this, see, because I kind of, I kind of, uh, 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 got all the way away from it. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just, like, slowed down because I started having, you know, I, my kids. And then, you know, like, in my era, you know, it's like, when you get to a certain age, it's time to pass the torch, man. You can't keep on wanting to do that forever. You know, you got to let somebody else shine, you know. And my thing was, well, I've done enough. You know, I ain't got to do no more. So I just want to, i done that Fleetwood. After i done that Fleetwood, I ain't done nothing else. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the last thing i done, like 9, 2009, 2010. That's it's the only one I can paint. It's somebody out right now that represents Sunnyside. He got in his trunk, I think, Sunnyside Nightmare. Is that your son james Hines? no he ain't my son uh like i say he my cousin my brother know more. see like that's my daddy's side of the family uh -huh. and my brother know more about that side of the family than i do mm -hmm. and i asked him and he said yeah you know okay. but no nah, no nah, it ain't my okay, son okay because i yeah. just kind of put two and two together yeah he from sunny side his yeah, he Hines. yeah so i'm thinking family. okay maybe this might be related to him or something yeah, that's like that okay okay that's cool. That's cool. Would you put another slab together? No, nah, I'm done with it. It's man, my my my, my thing now is about saving souls, bro. Mm -hmm. Saving souls. How did bro. you kind of transition from the streets to, you know, becoming a Christian? Hey man, I had got to uh, this. After a while, man, you've been in the streets for so long, it take a toll on you. It really, I'm talking about mentally, it really take a toll on you. And I was the type that I took, I carried this neighborhood. Mm. I care not just not from here, from South Lord, you know, I cared I cared a lot of people and I got tired, you know, and I, I got to a point to where I just I physically got tired, man, you know, mm. and I cried out to God. Mm. I ain't want no more. Mm. You know, either I was gonna die die in my sins or you know, um, I'm going to heaven. I pick heaven. Mm. I ain't want no more of it. Then I had a lot of you know, you just when you when you come up in my era, it's a lot of stuff that you see. You know what I'm saying, man? It's it's a whole lot that took place from 90 on down to 2000, you know, like 
see a lot of your partners going to the feds, man. A lot of your partners dying, you know what I'm saying? And after all that started happening, I like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm done. It's a wrap. I don't want no more. Yeah. I don't want no more. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. at the end of the day, you got to look at it like this here. What is your plan after you get through hustling? What plans you have after hustling? See what I'm saying? Most hustlers don't, don't have no plans. Most of us, well, I'm going to do this all my life. That's how I was at one point. Man, I'm going to hustle all my life. Hey, man, God have a way of breaking you down. You can't be a, a, a 70 year old man hustling. You got someone still trying. Yeah. I, hey, I, I'm done with it. Mm -hmm. you no, know, and my, my, my prayer to them that they be delivered from. Do you kind of hate that? This ain't one of the questions I read down, but it's just something I just want to ask you. Yeah. Do you kind of hate that what you did in the past? kind of is like what people remember you by like what i've done in the past what they remember me by i mean like when people come up to you and they say man that's Hines, you know what i'm saying that's yeah. the og and sunny side do you yeah. kind of hate that a little bit i mean no nah, you i mean you you because you because it's like i know who i am in christ mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the old me. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Bible or not, mm -hmm. but if you ever ch get a chance to read, uh, I want to say it's in Acts, and uh, Paul was on his way to the to uh, to Damascus to persecute the Christians. Mm -hmm. That's how I was. I was saw first. You see what I'm saying? Now when I gave my life completely to the Lord, I'm Paul. Mm -hmm. So when I look, when, when they come to me, like I don't, I really don't get offended at it, no, because I, I know that used to be me. You know, and I can grow from it. Mm -hmm. Would you kind of say, because like with my pops, my pops changed his life, you know what I'm saying? I want to say due to the slab, but you know what I'm saying? It just, that lifestyle of being in the slab, riding slab, you know, doing all that, it's not good. So he kind of look at it now like, I'll never do that again because it brings the wrong people. Do you think, like, if you put a slab together, like, it will bring the wrong yeah. people? Yeah, it's, it's like this here, man, and I tell a lot of my partners. I was talking to one of my partners the other day, uh, BC, he's from South London, I was, when I was trying to get the pictures and stuff, and I was talking to him, and he was, studying, he was saying, behind these, blah, blah, this, and blah, blah. I hear him, but I don't hear him for the simple fact because it's overrated. Hustling back then was really overrated. You doing it because you seen somebody else do it. Oh, uh, that was the way of life. But uh, like I say, it's, 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 it's double jeopardy. Because you got to look at it at the end of the day. You out here, you having these slabs, okay? You got to go home. Watch this shit. This the catch. You got to go home. You don't know who's following you home. Mm -hmm. uh, you in the house with your family, and that dog get kicked down. And you don't know if it's the jackers. You don't know if it's the jump out boys. Now, if you shoot, you kind of got action with the jackers. But you ain't got action with the jump out boys. They're going to kill everything in the house. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my reasons that I really want. I, that's the words of my main reason. I just wanted to get away from it. Yeah. What's, I, this is something I want to I want to hear from your mouth. What's your message to the youth? My message to the youth, you got Cause, to. Because I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to ask that question and say this too. Yeah. Y'all see in the background is Sunnyside Park. Sunnyside yeah. is one of the most dangerous neighborhoods yeah. in Houston. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Really all the Texas, but in Houston, Sunnyside is one of the most dangerous neighborhoods. So what is your message to the youth? My message to the youth is this. They need to get a mentor. Mm -hmm. Someone that has been through the fire. That God and brought out the fire, and don't smell like smoke. Get you a mentor, and, 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 and put your pride down. See, you know us as an African American culture, pride is the biggest thing. You know, another man can't tell another man nothing. That ain't a man. That ain't a man. See, like I tell a lot of people, when you love a person, you tell them what's right. If there's anything you see in me, you tell me what's right. I'm gonna receive that. Now, back in the days, I wouldn't receive that because I didn't know better. Now I know better. So that's my things to the youth. Get you a mentor, someone that's strong in the faith, someone that can tell you their testimony, what they've been delivered from. You know, and like I was, I was talking to my uh, partner, uh, I mean, little brother earlier, O'Quinn. I was telling, I was talking to him. You know, I was telling, him, Man, I'm gonna do this interview uh, uh, with Double B, WB, and uh, and my thing is to like, if God didn't tuck you out of something, right? He deliver you out of something. No matter what He deliver you out and tuck you out of, God didn't give you the deliverance for you to hold it. You got to shout. How's the next person going to get saved or change their life if you ain't telling them what God took you from? Do you feel like that's kind of like an important factor that you got to preach to the youth? Because, I mean, a lot of people on this side of town look at you like an OG. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the, that's the main. When you got to touch the youth, because you got to get to the point to where half of the, 
the folks that's older now, they mind already made up. They stubborn. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be it'll be like me trying to run through a brick wall, trying to talk to the older folks. You know, but the youth is where the visions come in. The youth is going to be the one that carry on, you know, the tradition, mm -hmm. the history. You know, you get to them before they get to their penitentiary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, that's kind of one of the reasons I started this channel, Slab OGs TV, because I just want a lot of the OGs to kind of just, you know, speak to the youth, kind of yeah. tell them. Because there's certain stuff that we don't have no more. We don't yeah. have carols. They, I feel like they're going to eventually do away with just riding Slab in general because you got a lot of people out here to act stupid. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah they're, they're, I feel like, you know, this channel really going to help a lot of people kind of realize that, hey, man, y'all need to chill out, chill out, kind of think about what y'all doing. Hey, man, if it's just about the cause, it's just about the cause. Yeah, yeah bring that back. You yeah. know, bring take take the hate away. Mm -hmm. You know, because it, it's too much hating right now. You know, mm -hmm. and man, and then and then it's don't the, the you know what gets me and the crazy thing about it. They're taking it too serious. Mm -hmm. They're taking it too serious. Like back then, we was rolling, man. Say something happened to this car, or whatnot, man. Hey, look here, we got the metallic. We're gonna do nothing but go get another, and we ain't gonna fight. I wouldn't nobody behind. It. Mm -hmm. Okay. What you think about the slab today? Just the way you see people put cars together new cars or uh, maybe not the cars that you would have done back in the day you know what i'm saying what, what you think about that well my my thought on it today you know to me it's it ain't how should i want to put it i'm okay with it but i'm not okay with it because mm -hmm. you, you you're taking the, the fun out of it mm -hmm. you know like back then like when we was rolling you know, and I don't have nothing against nobody riding new slab, new cars and everything. But when I came up in my area, it was mostly older cars like Lax, Delta 88s, Slantbacks, Drop Barrettes, you know, Delta, uh, Drop, uh, uh, Drop Deltas and stuff like older cars, you know. But uh, right about it, it just, 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 this new culture to me is like they, this, this, this taking it to a whole different level than what it used to be. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like. They're not respecting the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Man, my last question I like to ask, what's your top five greatest slabs of all time that you've seen with your eyes? Top five? Yeah. Uh, you know, I got to put me at one. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm going to say uh, Blunt. Uh, I, got to, I got to speak about my boy Coleman in the clock. Mm -hmm. he, he was the first one I seen with a Fleetwood. Uh, got to go Toast. Uh, Kevin Kell. Five. That's, that's a strong five too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a strong five, man. Yeah, man. Before we get up out of here, you got any shout outs you want to give or just anything you want to say before you get out? Man, I just want to speak to this, uh, uh, to the young generation, man. These young guys out here riding these slabs, man. You know, make you a plan, make you a vision. Don't, don't, don't put slabs the top of your project. You know, uh, like this is what I'm gonna do forever. Have your plan when you can't do it no more, you have something to run to, you know, like you're a business. Mm -hmm. You know, get you some land. Mm -hmm. You know, do something for a greater than like have the mentality I'ma hustle all day, I'm a rat slab all day, because they're gonna get old. Mm -hmm. They're gonna get old. And you know, and and, and and that's me speaking to the young generation, man. Y'all come come to oneness and stop that plexing. Mm -hmm. It's too much plexing out there. Yeah. Hey, I'll ask you one more question yeah. about that gold, see. That gold, he was, that gold he was riding was different from the boys on the north. Nah, we spoke on it. Yeah, I said, what, I got here late. I yeah, what, what, what type of gold you said it Candy was? Lemon. Candy lemon. Candy lemon. Somebody might what? steal it, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Somebody mean, might I'm, steal it. I ain't, I ain't mad at him. Yeah, yeah. Already, man, this Slab OG, see, we got a Slab legend up in here, Sunnyside legend, D. Hines, Derek Hines, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Hey man, it's, it's always a way out these streets. It's a way out this slab game. I always think about something, you know what I'm saying, in the long run, you know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, we got Slab Legend up in here. D. Hines, Derek Hines, the Slab OG's TV, we out. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>